Anyone follow? Not again. <laughs> drink. 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 No. Drink. 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 Oh my god, I saw Jolly. She's coming back. What? Are you serious? I thought you said she wasn't coming back tonight. I don't know. She told me she wouldn't come back tonight. My god, we're in serious trouble. Dispel your drunkenness. Trust me. So what happens when limes or other citric fruits are consumed after the consumption of alcoholic drinks? The ingredient in beer which is responsible for causing drunkenness is ethanol or ethyl alcohol. It produces a state known as alcohol intoxication when consumed. As for the limes, the ingredient responsible is citric acid, a weak organic acid. The following are the chemical structures of ethanol and citric acid respectively. Hence, when limes are consumed after drinking alcoholic drinks, ethanol reacts with the citric acid in our digestive tract to produce a compound known as triethyl citrate, with the removal of four water molecules. Triethyl citrate is actually an ester, produced from a carboxyl acid alcohol reaction. This means that the drug effect caused by ingesting ethanol will be reduced, as ethanol is converted to esters. Thus, this chemical reaction justifies how eating fruits with high citric acid content, such as limes and lemons, will help to dispel one's drunkenness. This process is known as esterification. Okay. Do it. <laughs> Don't be stupid and block my way, Ken. I'm not happy today. Why do I feel so weird in this room today? This seems to be a center. Beer? No. I want the truth. Did you drink beer today? No. I don't dare. You know the consequences of lying to me, right? You know why I'm not happy today? I met a con man who tried to sell me 
fake diamonds. But I detected his lies. You know what happened to him? I broke his arm. Now he's hospitalized. Tell me, did you drink beer today? No. <laughs> now I'll tell you more about how a breathalyzer works. The breathalyzer device contains, firstly, a system to sample the breath of the suspect. Secondly, two glass vials containing the chemical reaction mixture. And lastly, a system of photocells connected to a meter to measure the color change associated with the chemical reaction. To measure alcohol, a suspect breathes into the device. The breath sample is doubled in one vial through a mixture of sulfuric acid, potassium dichromate, silver nitrate, and water. The principle of measurement is based on the following chemical reaction. In this reaction, the sulfuric acid removes the alcohol from the air into a liquid solution. The alcohol reacts with potassium dichromate to produce chromium sulfate, potassium sulfate, acetic acid, and water. The silver nitrate is a catalyst, a substance that makes reaction proceed faster without a change in state. The sulfuric acid, in addition to removing the alcohol from air, also provides the acidic medium needed for this reaction. During this reaction, the reddish-orange dichromate ion changes colour to the green chromium ion when it reacts with the alcohol. The degree of the colour change is directly related to the level of alcohol in the expired air. To determine the amount of alcohol in that air, the reacted mixture is compared to a vial of unreacted mixture in the photocell system, which produces an electric current. A reading is generated based on the magnitude of this current. The stronger the current, the higher the level of alcohol the suspect has. Well, I think I've suspected the wrong person. Why do you eat so many limes today? I believe that you can bend Not only do you have to fight 